Recently, the Meerkat Squad, a group of avid overlanders, joined the Iron Man 4x4 family. A trip was planned and a temporary name came to the fore. Meerkat Squad plus Iron Man equals the Iron Cats. How's it? How's it? How's it? Looking lovely. Looking like lovely. a like. Are yeah. you ready? Ah, oh, of course. This is where I get excited. There we go. Yeah, so now I can take the tires down a bit. Eh? Correct. Yeah. There yeah. We go. yeah. Yeah. Don't run away. Don't run away. <laughs> How are you doing? Me, I'm good. Are you there? Yeah, like Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. It's that uh, Munati moment. <laughs> yes, like a moment. Sure. <laughs> This is Mr. Showstopper, right? Good day, how are you? Well in yourself? Oh, good. Why is it Showstopper? Hey, it's coming from my riding days. Okay. Yeah, that's a name that I inherited from my riding days. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, are you excited? Friend. No, very excited. And now I can see we are engaging this small gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thinking it is the fun start. <laughs> Where's your car? <laughs> Unfortunately, my car is still not fixed. Two months without my car still in surgery but i believe when i get back it should be ready so next week i'm looking forward to getting my baby back so i'll be wilding um that didn't stop me from being on this trip so i checked along with my gin and juice partner mr showstopper hello christy hello Derek. how are you doing right new good are you excited yes lucky uh we'll take on the cold as it comes but uh i think we're prepared awesome cool all right we were on our way over the Breedsnack Pass to the magical Mariku Eye, and the tires needed deflating. And some cooking had to be done. Mm -hmm. Why are you driving? Why are you driving? Yes, this is what we're gonna have for lunch. What is in there? That's a, a, a roast. What's this thing? Beef roast. A beef roast while you're driving? Yeah, while you're driving. But now it's ready because I started cooking it when I left my house. So anyway, we're going to stop. We're going to have some nice lunch. Uh, these guys are proper campers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Beard Snake has been one of those um, that I've always heard about because it's close by. It's not too far from Khoteng. And they've always said it's, it's a nice pass to actually go try out. So I wanted to actually go try it out. So my experience with it is that it didn't disappoint. Bread snack was always on the bucket list for me. So going up bread snack was a matter of brushing up a little bit of the 4x4 skills, but uh, never struggled. And it's been an awesome ride in the cruiser. I've had the opportunity to be uh, you know, on the driving wheel and I'm converted. When I play Powerball every day, just, uh, you all just pray for me because I need that cruiser. Having the equipment that you are using, that way we are testing the Ironman suspension, it was just, just a breeze. We have just completed Breedsnack Pass. It's a very nice pass just outside of Johannesburg. And we're back on the tar road now and we're going to go to the town called Groot Mariku where we're going to get onto gravel and then from there on out we're going to the Mariku Eye which is one of my favorite places. We have covered it before but I thought I'd show the guys from the Meerkat squad my favorite place or one of my favorite places in South Africa. So we're going to hit tar for about an hour and then we're on gravel again. A beautiful road into the eye from Groot Mariku. When we finished uh, bread snack I unfortunately had to go home to sort out some other admin stuff and uh, I just told the guys that there's no way that I'm gonna miss the second leg of the trip. 
So the, the road from Groot Mariku to Mariku Uh so, so that road was quite interesting, actually. Um, so, so, so I would think that one of the, 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 the more biggest challenges about it is that uh, it gets dusty. So if, you've, if you're following up uh, behind other cars, it got very dusty. And what would happen is that there'll be areas where there's a lot of sun. And then all of a sudden there's a lot of shade because you're going through to some trees and stuff like it and it just changes your eyes and you like adapt quite quickly and then you can't see anymore and then you have to slow it down quite a bit um, but otherwise from a, a a road to drive on and stuff if you've got a 4x4 it's, it's something that you'll enjoy because it, it's, it's like just um, a long road probably I don't know how many k's it was maybe 30 k's of just gravel and, and you're challenging this it's got like areas where there's a bit of rocks it's got areas where it's just open gravel road so I kind of enjoyed it and the scenery around it. The Marika Bushveld is a truly special place. It's proclaimed as a biosphere reserve, accomplished by local people fighting off mining expeditions in the area. We finally arrived at the eye. Marika, oh, I can say it's one of the hidden gems in South Africa. It's a very nice place. It's a it's a magical place, I think. Um, so so when you actually look at that water, it's 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 it, it just makes you appreciate creation. It's it's more like you know you look at this and 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 this water is not. It doesn't look like it's flowing, but but it definitely must be flowing because it's, it's so clean. It's so clear. Like you can basically see at the bottom during the day. So so it's it's one of those like miracle places. The eye of Mariko. Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, I loved the. The eye itself, it's a heritage site. Um, the water is pure, pure. Uh, those lilies underwater, man, I, I could not get enough shots. I kept on getting to get more and more and more. Um, I tasted the water, um, it's nice. <laughs> Looks like the Mirkat squad is set up. Yeah. You know, even the photographers, they'll tell you to put all your poles on the team. I'll tell us the technical problem. They're standing in front right. here. <laughs> Guys, set this thing properly. I want all the poles in the tent. Why don't you open here? <laughs> I like, don't need it open. <laughs> Needs to look good for camera. Exactly. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> Okay, good uh, evening ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on our first uh, Mirkat and Ironman trip, uh, our first dinner, we will be having some Texan steak, some, uh, what's this thing? Uh, roasted vegetables, as well as a roast beef that has been cooked uh, during the day while we'll be driving here. Uh, we're having our drinks, hope everything will go well. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> After the delicious meal, we threw on some mystical fire sachets to give the fire a magical look. Always remember to throw it on after you've bride.
So it's, it's one of those like miracle places. And then you wake up in the morning when it's been cold, but then you look over the reeds where the water is and then there's like steam coming off the water. So it's like that water is actually warmer than my bed. Actually at this moment, I should have just slept in there or something like that, but, but it's a magical place. I couldn't actually believe that it's actually a place that's actually open to the public and I haven't heard of it. You know, it was, yeah, it was quite surprising to me, but I liked it, I liked it. Dagi gone wild, um, wilding with meerkats and iron men. We are at Mariko Uoch. Mariko Uoch. It was a cold, cold, cold night, yeah. Uh, camping in winter, we, we got a. Yeah, but we are here anyway. Uh, so to compensate, we're gonna have a proper, proper breakfast. Uh, breakfast is everything. We're gonna have some eggs, we have cheese grillers. We have bacon, we've got chicken viennas, we've got cheese. For those that don't think there's enough cheese in the cheese griller, we've got cheese. Um, hazelnut cappuccino. Nescafe coffee, we've got ginger tea, we've got all sorts of tea bags. Um, so today or this morning, we're going to have proper, proper breakfast. Because as you know, in the bush, we eat like kids. After a very chilled morning and nice breakfast, we are on our way to explore a neighboring farm that my friend Ignis from the Marikou Oog is going to go show us. So we're going to go in two cars. I'm leaving my beloved Iron Van here, but luckily I've got the 200 watt Iron Man 4x4 solar panel charging while we are going to be driving. And my lift for today is Mr. Krastu. I just want to ask, why are you behind the steering wheel? No, because these guys uh, decided the shortest one drives. So we stood according to Hayden and look at them. I mean, I'm the shortest, obviously. I can't see the bumper, but I have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> you must drive. <laughs> Having fun, Christo. Thank you. Ooh. You know what? That is a fine, that is a Jagermeister tonight. You spin. You ate spin. You spin, you're in. time that is good <laughs> the good times the good times <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun who, who is the what naughty. i beg your pardon the naughtiest the naughtiest yes i it's lesson what <laughs> <laughs> i don't know we uh, maybe we have to vote <laughs> not a chance uh. I, i'm the one who keeps them in line <laughs> who yeah who is it Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wildest doggy. <laughs> yeah, the wilding. <laughs> Gotta always wild. <laughs> put, put on Derek there. Hey Derek, I'm the CEO, Chief Entertainment Officer. <laughs> <laughs> put that you down, I take, huh? 
Yeah, that's Judah. He's the chief entertainment officer. <laughs> that's, that's a low I'm blow. driving it. Tell me about the suspension on the cruise. Is it working well? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's working then fine. Um, the foam cell pros don't feel the bumps. The car is stable, it's drivable. Uh, not too much stress on the driver. Um, and uh, the, the ride height has well improved on this cruiser. Um, we do have victims of that right height, by the way, <laughs> but that's a story for another day. <laughs> we returned back to camp to take a sunset cruise on the magical Mariku Eye. and gentlemen showstopper here uh, after a very long and uh, beneficial day on the farm uh, today i'm gonna pre present to you what we're gonna have with the mercats as well as the iron man trip for dinner we are having chicken thighs and spiced we're gonna spice them on our showstopper mercat stroke iron man special spices got one that is already spiced chicken thighs uh, we've got uh, mr Dirk conslow and mr christo uh, chakalaka as well we're gonna have a turkey con wild a pop as well as a that's what we're gonna have tonight this pot that's quite a sentimental value to me. I guess it's this spot that made me start overlanding. How did I get this spot? I got this spot from my grandma's place. My, uh, my mother is born in the Orange Free State, and this spot was thrown away. So I took the spot in, washed it, started cooking with it, and I could see the possibilities, endless possibilities that this spot can bring. So I guess what inspired me to do overlanding, part of it is this spot. So this spot uh, holds a sentimental value to me. I don't know how old it is. It might be older than me. It might be older than my mom. It's a Dutch, the first Dutch oven pot, but I take off it. I wash it, put some oil on it, polish it and treasure it. And today we're gonna be cooking some pap that is gonna be filling up the Iron Man guys as well as the Mercat cut. Uh, so this is proper pup, right? It's uh, not okay. Mushu. Okay, okay, can it's I not, ask? Is it yeah. Pedi, Swati, Tswana? Pedi one. The pedi one. Even the Tswanas have this. Yeah. Same same way. Okay. Right, you do that, you do that. So, what about the putki part? I don't know. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Day two, day three. Um, Mirkat Squad and Iron Man gonna go to Garia Grants, uh, but we're gonna be doing some cooking on the way, courtesy of Showstopper Oven. Uh, we're gonna do chicken thighs and Moroccan pork espetadas. Gonna put them in the grill pan, put them in the oven while we're driving, gonna grill them. And when you get to our destination, lunch will be ready or supper or dinner doesn't matter <laughs> but the food will be ready <laughs> that's what matters it will be grilling
Shooting and driving. That's what you call it. And that's how we roll. Two hours. 120 degrees. 120 degrees. Two hours. Price. We'll be ready to eat. A quick stopover in Groot Mariko, and luckily, we were a stone throw away from our next destination, Kariakrans. And this man decided to join us. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't miss it, eh? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Lucker. We have arrived at Kariakrans campsite. It is also a 4x4 route. It is just off the N4, so it's not too far from Johannesburg. And we traveled from Mariku Wuch this morning. And everybody is chilling in the camp, taking it easy. And tomorrow we're going to be taking the 4x4 route. Let me show you the campsite. It's beautiful under shady trees. These are the ablution facilities. Very neat. Very cool, and there's lots of places to bry and just chill out. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today, is just chill out in the campsite, and then tomorrow we're gonna take on this massive 4x4 route. I've been here once before, and what I recall is that there are some tough obstacles here. But I mean, we're ready. We've got the right vehicles and the right suspension. Yes. Always nice. From the first one. Mm. The so whole airport has passed. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's all time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's all good times. It's all good times. The whole airport, airport has passed. passed. Yeah. Kranz is situated next to the N4, not too far from Johannesburg, but it sure does feel like you are out in the wild. So I had to join the guys for the Karia Kranz leg, and uh, I'm very excited to be here. You can just see uh, the campsite, very immaculate. It's not many campsites where you get them clean like this and there's hot water, there's uh, electricity. So when you get to campsites like this, then you know you're gonna have a good time. This is a hidden gem. Um, so I didn't know about this place as well. Um, and it's not too far from Rustenburg, so it's basically an hour and a half drive. It's one of those places that, you know, I, I think I'd come back as well at some point and, and bring my kids around because I think you know they've got a pool it's open it's got very open areas where the kids can actually enjoy themselves and so forth it's got everything for everybody you know people can go to sit at the lapa and enjoy themselves at the pool while I take out you know the 4x4 and go hit the trails and stuff cool we're gonna check out our road meal Oh, look at that. The smell. Yo, yo, yo. What are you making, Christo? I'm making a... It's best day. Pork espatado garlic roll with chutney. Lucky. Chutney is like six gun. Six gun? Yeah. You cook everything with it. Hmm? And you got six gun? Chutney, uh, sweet and sour. Me, it's six gun. everything. <laughs> one many eggs, six gun. Spice chicken, You want six, six gun? I've got six gun for you. Want to do beef? Six gun. <laughs> <laughs> this is an advert for six gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just while we're busy setting up camp, I thought I'd show you one of Iron Man 4x4's new products. This is the area light. So it's got a nice little pole that goes with a little stick into the ground so you can elevate it nicely. And it's got a little remote which you can put it on and off and it's 3,500 lumens, it's very bright. And then you can also set the intensity to go down or to go up. It works on a normal 12 volt um, input, but I've converted mine into a Brad Harrison or Dion from Iron Man 4x4 converted mine into a Brad Harrison, um, which plugs into the back of the Iron Man. It's a really neat little gadget uh, around the camp. And uh, in the summertime, I mean, it's, it's elevated up nice and high, so you're not gonna have a bug problem. It's very cool.
We are somewhere between day four and five, some with uh, but it's dinner time again. So today for dinner, we are having beef vors, and then we are having some beef kebabs, Texas steak, some uh, oven baked, um, what do you call them, veggies, and potato bake. So as you can see, like the other guys have said, the guys here eat like kings, and the kings are somewhere around. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is it. Mirkat out. <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to be having uh, the robots and mints. Uh, I'm sure our cook showstopper is getting ready to do this for us. Then there's uh, chakalaka there, there's onion marmalade. Uh, we have some uh, leftover meat from uh, last night. Just gonna warm it up and uh, it's gonna be a nice snack on the road. Uh, we have our tea and coffee this side so that when we hit the track, we are nice and strong. And uh, it should be a very, uh, interesting day today. Okay, now we're doing the robot. Why is it a robot? You can see it's got green to go, a yellow caution, red stop. But now we mix them, I don't know what to do. We just... It's a broken robot. <laughs> it's a broken robot. I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> he's got a Rambo knife, but he's using it wrong. He must have a, a black belt, you tie it here, yeah. and then you tie your boot, and then you start using your Rambo knife. You just don't use your Rambo knife. <laughs> oh, it's not a Rambo knife. <laughs> the Rambo knife part is done. <laughs> My boots are tight. <laughs> so I'm ready to open the chakalaga for our cook. <laughs> yeah, no, that's chakalaga Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now we have rambled it. Yeah, I've rambled it. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <laughs> After breakfast, it was time to hit the trails. Say, when they say save the best for last, that's uh, what Career Crafts is. The off road tracks, those are perfect because they take you from mild grade, from grade one, all the way to the extreme grade five. And we managed to do all that without a problem. So it's a wonderful place. So Bonoda Boda, uh, yeah, so, so that's in uh, Bonoda Boda is, is basically at, at Career Grants and it, it's a five rating obstacle. So, I mean, uh, I, I like to go around hunting for five rating obstacles because sometimes I think ah, five rating is it's overrated, you know. But Bonoda Boda, it's not overrated. It's definitely not overrated. I think it's definitely a five rating, I think. Um, and look, it, it, it got interesting. Uh, but I would not uh, recommend it for the non-experienced drivers. Uh, the grade says it all.
Cruz. Yay! <laughs> the suspension, very comfortable. Uh, you go fit it on your car, you won't regret. I spoke to my colleague Showstopper about it as well on his uh, Land Cruiser. He said that before he put on the Ironman suspension, when he had to drive his Land Cruiser, he always had to grab it uh, on both hands. But now with the Ironman suspension, just one finger, then he steers the car and it goes. On my GD6, yeah, same thing, no, no issues. So when you go over bumps, you go over rocks, it, 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 it gives you the comfort. <laughs> yes, yes, thanks, Mr. Christian. Yeah. yeah, your heart is popping up there. <laughs> is the seat wet? Yeah? Is the seat wet? Okay, this is the trick, ne? I had to hold the side ne? with my hand. Then I'm, I'm, I'm using one hand because I'm like, I have to balance my body. I have to check where he's taking me. But the, the footwork, I uh, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, the footwork is hundred percent. So the feet were not doing like they were not dancing. No, they were not dancing because yeah. yeah, that's the most important one. <laughs> yeah. Well done, gentlemen. Yeah, but yeah, you no, know, it, it 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 boosts the confidence. It's a positive confidence booster. <laughs> yeah. Guys, okay, so this is our last night uh, camping here with uh, the Meerkat Squad and Ironman. And we emptied all the fridges from the cars, everybody. So we're having borscht, lamb chops, chicken, kebabs, T-bone steak and sirloin. With a bit of starch, roast veggies, sweet corn riblets and three bean salad. Obviously with siskan spice, garlic and... I just would like to say a special thanks to the Meerkat squad. It was an epic trip. Amazing to meet the guys, spend a couple of days with them, driving around, four-wheel driving, camping, wild camping, getting cold, nice fire, epic. I can't wait for the next Meerkat and Ironman 4x4 trip. Guys, come in. <laughs> Meerkat squad, last night, <laughs> eat like kings. That's how we roll, man. I think the experience with Iron Man and, and us Meerkat squad is, is awesome. Um, the Iron Cats didn't disappoint. Um, I think the first day we're sizing each other, trying to understand each other. But uh, a few shots helped. So by the second day, we were jailing and we were having fun. Um, I wish Stivoski was here, I wish the Broda Ironman group was here, um, but we're going to do another trip, um, so uh, it's, it's an awesome experience, um, the experience that you guys come with, uh, free cameramen, the talks, the fines, the Jagger bombs, the you know, homemade Willis Chakalaka, um, the Chakalaka Norris, so everything. Um, it's, it's, it's been an awesome trip uh, and I've had fun. Meerkat squad and the Ironman guys are gelling. We are like one big AP family. When you go on a trip like this, you get to know the guys a bit better. It's more about, you know, it, it's not just uh, shop talk all the time now. It's, it's more, you, you know, you get to know the guys, you get to know what they like, you know, what kind of people they are and so forth. So, so that's been the, the, the best part about it. And, and, and you know, it's, it's nice because we, we got to gel. You know, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, I can definitely go, you know, definitely go with these guys on another trip. You know, it, it's one of those things where we can say, no, guys, if there's a trip, invite me along and stuff. So, so that trip, is, it's, been, it's, been, um, it's been fun from that perspective and it's been interesting. It's also been educational. It's nice to hear about some of these things, you know, so when you ask questions about the suspension or that product or those kind of things, and when you hear what the guys have got to say about it, and, and from that you learn, and then you kind of see that, okay, you know, going forward, I think I'm going to change, this is what I want to get, and those kind of things. And, and it's not even focused just on Ironman products, it's just in general about just uh, overlanding um, equipment. It's about what works, what the guys have seen over the years, and, and part of their experience and stuff. So I've enjoyed it very much, and I'm looking forward to
For me personally, we met up as acquaintances and left as friends. And this won't be the last of the Iron Cats. If you want to tour with the Meerkat Squad, check them out on their social media channels. And if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. Till next time.